and welcome guys I'm not sure if you know who this is but it's been a long time coming it's super robot soul and we're gonna do something special together we're gonna watch Batman year one no funny enough I got a story behind that we could go on Netflix Yeah, look at that. We could play some, you know, X Men. I wish more people had this so I could play with them. That or Scott Pilgrim. I think I got the uh, the DLC for the online a while back, but there's no one to play with. It sucks. So we'll have to do something else. But what can we do? Eh, sorry about that. That was uh. <laughs> Uh, I was trying to do something that would segue into it, but no, didn't work. Well, at least if I do it this way, you won't see what it is, but it'll still happen. And, yep. Let's see if it's going to go through. Just a few more seconds. Oh, no, you can't see that. There we go. It's a surprise. Hello, funny enough. I was supposed to have done this earlier in the day, but uh, there were some slight complications, like internet going out. It kind of sucks. To be honest, I'm not quite sure when I'm going to upload this, but I can at least say that I got it down. Although that's kind of an abrupt end. Ah, pretty. You make this serious. Yeah. Funny enough, this is the farthest I've gone. Although a trophy did pop the first time when you plug it in and just watch that intro. Which I kind of, kind of weird. So you are getting trophies now for literally just turning on the game. Achievement! The netherworld. Darker than a pitch black cave. Deeper than the depths of the seas. A land where ominous demons run rampant. Yeah. In the past, this world was ruled by an overlord with unrivaled charisma named Krichevskoy. Badass. After this great overlord passed away, many demons rose to become the next overlord. Plunging the netherworld into an age of chaos. It was then that one demon announced his claim to become the next overlord. I wonder who it was. That demon was Laharl, the only son of Overlord Krichevskoy. And a witch. He crushed every demon that stood in his way and forced himself upon the title of Overlord. Yep. He was helped by Angel Trainee Flan, and after many twists and turns, 
the Netherworld and Celestia started interacting. However, oh, yeah. because she had harmed other angels, angel trainee Flan became a fallen angel and moved into the Overlord's castle with Laharl. It's kind of cool, they're actually, you know, a few counting years all that stuff. Later. In case you've never played the other games. I guess it'd be singular for this storyline. <laughs> oh, Flan. My garden. Hmm. This is strange. They should be sprouting soon. I had them send me UEA flower seeds all the way from Celestia. Did I plant them wrong? I wouldn't think a heavenly plant could grow in hell. No! It's probably because I haven't given these flowers enough affection. That's one way to go about it. I shall nourish these plants with my overflowing love! <laughs> Here you go! Drip! Oh, Flan. Oh, it's you, Flan. What are you doing talking to the ground? You're as strange as ever. It's nice that it's not the same voice actor. Or at least sound like him. No! What are you doing, Laharl? <laughs> Surprised! I destroyed every star in sight! Hmm. Apparently the demons in the netherworld haven't realized that I've become the overlord yet. If I show them proof of my absolute power, they won't be able to help but admire my greatness. That's why we go about it. What will happen to you? I don't care about that. <laughs> huh? You destroyed my garden that I've worked so hard on. How could you? Oh, well, he's a demon. Garden? Who cares? The whole netherworld belongs to me, the Overlord. And you still can't afford a shirt. I decide what gets destroyed and what doesn't. You're terrible! I wanted to show you my favorite flowers! Prince! <laughs> you have to And I'm assuming you're... Only on the side. Just wanted she to give me uh. impact. Damn it, Etna! Are you trying to kill me? Who's uh, Prince, you're overreacting. If that would have been enough to kill you, I would have killed you a long time ago. You are, as always, a terrible vassal. True. The other games are Anyway, that. Prince, most demons can destroy the stars, you know. You can destroy as many stars as you want, but no one will accept you as the Overlord just for that. That's what you say. You never know. What? Are you saying that all my hard work has been a complete waste of time? Uh, that seems like about right, my friend. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Why did you tell me that earlier? It's a vassal's job to keep an eye out for stuff like that. I'm sorry, but when his hair does that... I swear it reminds me of a cockroach. Yeah, the... about to take a dump. What's wrong, Flan? You're <laughs> shaking. <laughs> if you gotta pee, you really shouldn't try and hold it, you know. No, that's not it. <laughs> Thanks to you two, my garden is completely ruined. Please apologize to the celestial flowers that were trying so hard to sprout. Yeah. Celestial flowers? You planted these things right under my nose? Yes! I received some UEA seeds. Although subtle, they bloom into very pretty white flowers. Um, Flan, flowers from 
Celestia don't bloom in the netherworld, you know. I knew it. What? <laughs> Good for you. I saved you from wasting your time. You should thank me for that. I want me to go about it. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Don't be stupid. You never ask. No reason to be doing fire. I'm busy. I don't have time for flowers. You do one stuff. That's right. You need to hurry up and get people to treat you like an overlord. Which probably ain't gonna happen anytime soon. Huh. Just you watch. I'll show every hmm. demon that I am a much superior overlord than my old man was. I still was hoping to get a, a video game all about her cat squad. That would have been awesome to see his rise to power. I want to come too! Again, I think his story would have been a lot more interesting. Oh, I'll be. Episode 1 The Qualities of an Overlord. Yay! Let's go. Has been forever since I played. Well, not forever. The last time I played. My mom got a hey, Harold, how are you going to show all the demons that you're a superior overlord? Yeah, it was this guy three. The uh, absence of justice on the Vita. God, I love that game. Hold on! First things first. There are way too many demons who don't even know that I became the overlord. So, I've decided to have monuments celebrating my ascension to overlord set up all over the netherworld. So he has like giant statues then. Right? I know. I ordered all my vassals to get to work on that non-stop without food or sleep. Prinny Squad, get your asses over here. Yay, Prinnies. <laughs> I love these guys. Master Edna, is this good, dude? Wow, that is pretty good for you guys. It's our masterpiece, dude! I love this spin. Hey, what is this? Wait, what? what's up with this face? What? You're the one who told me to make Laharl statues. Huh. Look at the antennae. They look exactly like yours, right? Shouldn't you focus on the face? This is amazing. It looks exactly like Laharl. Especially the antennae. Wow. Can we not focus on the antennae so much? <laughs> it looks enough I'm like you. Prince. Don't be so picky, Prince. Hmm. I don't really like it, but I guess it'll do. Now, go erect these Laharl statues. Hey, I do. I was expecting to hear that. The hell? Already, but let me make sure. If you want to go outside the castle, go to the dimensional guide dimension first. She'll open up the dimensional gate and send you wherever you want to go. Move the directional buttons or left stick. Change the view by pressing L1 or R1. Let's see, press square plus L1 or square plus R1 to adjust the zoom. Press triangle to open the main menu. You can save the game or change equipment here. There's a mysterious button, press it. Okay, I'm assuming it's like the uh, first game where you have those little switches that can activate the, I think, the Diary of Etna. Oh, but kind of stiff. Three minutes treasure. Switching on. It's not moving that battery. Morning Star, looks pretty cool. Books haven't been read, haven't even been touched in years. They're covered in dust. I remember. I hope you find something doing your next round of work. I forget where the other switch is. I know one was behind the throne. I think 
the other one was in his room, but I guess not. That is pretty nice the way it looks. Very updated sprite wise. Up the castle, all the entrance locked up as usual. I'll leave the castle, talk to Eva. I understand, you leave the guard entrance. I think it's honest. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Isn't much migration on the other side. I'll see if you want to go to Celestia. There's some angels who come over here. The tree does put go up on the house. I can see that. Why can't there be a game a magazine going around? I don't play games all day, dude. I can't believe that. Let's change the bit. That's the dimensional guy. Clear. Aha, treasure. Shut up. Those green brain chocolate milk. Who is that? Looks like a girl from Infinite Stratus. And I'm probably wrong. Oh, I miss these classes. The golems. I like the fact that ghosts are always there. Although, I hope they still have the ability. Like in the other games, they, re I think they generate a certain amount of SP. So, like, once they reach a high level, you don't gotta worry about it at all. Then you gain the next turn. Help settings, save stuff. Yeah. Create save data. Bam. Let's do the first tutorial together. Please like the place you wish to travel. Do Prince the Hall. Please to brief. Let's do the demo. This has been so long. I feel like an old fogey. One more Laharl statue here! Huh? Mm. Some demons appeared. Looks like they're the locals. And it looks like they don't want you to put up your statue. What do you want us to do, Prince? Do you really need to ask? I don't care who they are. Destroy anyone who gets in my way. Well said, Prince. There wasn't even an ounce of pity. Wait! I'm sure we can just talk to them. Good idea. I know sign language, so I think I'll let my fist do all the talking. Oh, you just stuck the I bird. See. That was kind of clever, but, but that's not what I meant. It's pretty courageous of them to go up against the Overlord. I shall crush them all and engrave my name into their bodies and fear of the Overlord into their souls! It's not a bad plan. But that's a lot of blood and souls we're gonna have to go through. Our enemies look weak, you shouldn't take them lightly. I'll teach you the basics of fighting, so let's kill them off effectively. Find the pieces are important, even for an Overlord. I'll just treat this as a warm-up. Fine, as long as the guys, I'll need to remember the stuff so I can help you off. Yay! Let's curse on the base panel and press X. You see a list of characters on the screen, right? From here, choose characters you want to dispatch. I'll go. And select the Harl and press X. Wait, why is he getting blonde? I'm going! Shit. Oops. Um, that's me. You're gonna make a mistake. Just select the character. With the cursor and press circle, send back to the base panel. There you go. I'll destroy all of you! It's good to know. Okay, that's good. If it's hard to see on the map, you can rotate it. Okay, if you hold X, or not hold, square, and press L or R, you can zoom. I see. That's the origin character just matched. Alright, okay. Okay, okay. 
First move next to the character. Select the character in the cursor with X and the list of actions. You select the action. Sorry, select move, and then you'll see how far the character can move. Select the panel within the area to move the character. That's a lot better. Once you're done moving, select the attack. You can feel the power of the overload. Oh, and then not attacking. Have you forgotten you only registered the action? That doesn't mean you'll attack right away. You want to execute the action, you can press triangle over the menu, select execute or return. I was hit. That's right, I forgot. I'll select execute. That's a basic how things work. Register you execute. Ugh, make sure you're this. Why is very similar to action? In that case, they'll attack in the order you're registered. You use to your advantage by doing team attacks and combos. Your battle will go much smoother. I'm gonna try it up. Let's do this together, Florin. I will oh. beat you down! Okay, I'm only sure. Yay, team attack. I'm going! Uh, okay, it's gonna be a combo. That's kinda of funny. Edna's with the hundred points on That's pretty good. So is that a team attack or a combo? Team attacks occur when your allies attack. While they're standing next to each other, your team with a maximum of four characters. Combos occur when you attack the same unit consecutively. The higher the combat count, the more damage your next attack will do. Be sure to register your actions so that your combo doesn't get interrupted. So if you use team attacks and combos to my advantage, then no one can beat me. Once you perform your attacks on other skills, you won't be able to cancel them, so be careful. Okay, let me write this all down. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna use canceling. What happens if I choose in turn? Oh yeah! The heart's gonna die. Lana got beat up. Sorry. You just have to turn, it'll advance you to your enemy turn after you finish all your registered actions. If you run to enemy like you just did, you're gonna be beat up, so be careful. I'll remember that. But even if you're defeated, you can heal yourself in the Netherworld Hospital, but it'll cost you hell. If all your characters die, you'll be game over. With me fighting, that'll never happen. Either way, it's a lot to learn. Help. If you press triangle and choose help, you can reveal this information, so don't worry. It's all about the basics of battle. Alright, we're off to battle. Edna, Flan, follow me. Alright, now I hope I get a really fight. Oh, sweet, I got Kirk on my side. I'll do with the uh baby did. Ah, uh, Prince is one of the best, okay? We can try and just sit out of this battle. Well done, Prince. You saw it through my scheme. You can sit with me later. Go to Star Enemies. Here I go! So fun, you're always saying we should talk things out. But look at you fighting. It's okay, I'll just apologize afterwards. Let me get okay. Freaking Kirk! Pretty dude! Yeah, I think we combo. Only 55. What the hell? And I'll go for it. Follow me! The hell? Oh, 
Hello. Fuck yeah, Kurt. That was just me, like, the game slowed down, like, to the point it stopped. Okay, it's kind of weird. Kirk over here. Don't be my badass of this game. Ready, oh yeah. Ready, hell yeah. What the hell is that eating spaghetti? You're getting hit with butcher balls. No idea who that was. I think that's Celestian class. Prince Edward Hospital and Roskin Shop are now in business. Yeah. Finally. And that was a hassle. It will cost you money, but you can heal the network hospital. Be sure to heal after every battle. The Roskin Shop has, has a shop that sells weapons and equipment, as well as a shop that sells consumable items. You can buy healing items there. Just make sure you buy enough to last for a while. It's always better to equip stronger items to try and keep up on upgrading them. So you can talk to Zumi about weapons. It's pretty informative. Throw the Netherworld Hospital. Heal your wounds here. Cost depends on how much HP and SP you need to be healed. You can use the hospital a lot to weak gifts. Try to keep as much damage as possible without getting game over. There we go, got my heals on. That's nice that they actually show you how much. Before it's just, well, get hurt enough and you'll get something special. Alright, I guess that's good enough for right now. I'll just save this up. And then we'll get started on the next stage. Guys, I'm gonna be recording this consecutively. Wait. Okay, making sure. I hate making multiple saves. Unless I actually have to. Save completed. Alright, thank you guys for watching. And I'll probably do more of this because I'm kind of in the disguise mood. Alright, again, thank you and peace.